Over the years, the more I uh, work on machines and vehicles, the more I realize that they're like humans in some ways. Just like you and I, the spider needs to breathe to run. What happens to you and I when we have something causing us not to breathe very well? Well, we slow down. And if we have something causing us not to breathe at all, well, we quit running altogether. The spider is the same. So why would you not want to improve your bike's ability to breathe well? Well, sit back and find out the simple cure for your bike's breathing problem. Every vehicle I've ever owned, I'll put a k and filter in. It was one of the first things I do, actually. And it was no different when I bought my Spider. It is one of the best ways to help your bike's performance and perhaps one of the easiest as well. k and filter claims that their filters provide up to 50% more airflow than that of disposable filters. Now, I have no way of proving this, but I've been using them for at least 20 years. And I've always been happy with how they perform and work. Now, I know the big question everybody really cares about is, how much is it going to cost me? The initial cost is more than that of a standard filter, uh, but not a whole lot more. And the K&N filter will probably last you at least 10 years or the lifetime of your bike if you treat it well. Now it is currently December 2020, and on Amazon I can purchase one for roughly $45 to $50. And at Auto Parts Store and at Amazon as well, I can purchase a recharge kit for roughly $10 to $15. Now I try and clean mine at least every six months. And over the lifetime, the Canon filter does save you a lot more money than purchasing a disposable filter over and over and over. Now one of the first things you're going to do is remove this side panel. Now because of the angle and where it's at, it's a little bit hard to see here on video, but I'm pointing out with this uh, extender. There's one right there, one screw right there, one screw right there, and one right there. So there's four basically in each corner. Now you remove those with a T30. You just pull it out. The screws do remain in there. You can pull them out by hand. You don't have to because they're kind of held in a little place by the plastic there. So as long as you're careful, you don't have to. And you can see the filter sticking out. I do have the K&N filter in there. I don't have a previous one. I'm just going to take it out. Simply pull it out. And there's your K&N filter. Now, when using any of these cleaning products for K&N, it is best to use a mask. That way none of the oils and stuff get into your lungs. And then also use uh, two gloves. Latex are fine. And I've got this old yellow cloth here that as soon as I'm done, I'm pretty much going to be throwing it away. I'm not going to be using it anymore. So make sure that you have a place to clean it that's well ventilated. I'm in my garage, so I've got the garage door open. I'm good to go. And I've taken the filter out. Now, the first thing I'm going to use is the air filter cleaner. It comes in a little spray bottle. So I'm going to completely and totally coat that. So now I'm going to stop the film, I'm going to go to the car wash, rinse this down. Now whenever I rinse it, this part is closed, but there's an opening in there. So the first time I rinse it, I'm going to take the pressure nozzle. And if you do this at a car wash, don't pull the trigger. All you do is just let it spray on uh, like your rinse. It'll be a light spray, but it has enough power to where it does wash out. So I'm going to spray this and then afterwards you let it dry, air dry. Uh, just however long you can really. So if you're able to let it air dry all day. Now, I hope this shows up on uh, video here, but before it was red, uh, it had a little black up in here, 
it does not anymore. Now whenever I see black on it, that tells me that the filter is a little bit dirty. So what I did, and again, I'm very sorry I couldn't show it. I went to the car wash and I sprayed. So let's talk about cleaning for a second. Anytime you rinse this, and I have a compressor to air dry it, I don't let it sit out all day and whatnot. But anytime you go to clean it, it's best to start from inside towards the outside. Don't force the stuff through the filter for it to get stuck. Allow it to come from the inside out. So whenever you're rinsing it with water, and I do like going to the car wash compared to a garden hose it, uh, you can wash it with, is it has a little bit of pressure. Now I don't pull the trigger and spray in here. I just spray on the normal setting of the uh, nozzle at the car wash. So I just took it in and I sprayed out and you can see it went from red to a silver color. And again, hopefully you can see it on video, but basically it's a gray to an almost whitish color and it got rid of all the red. Now, whenever I air hose it, I do the same thing. Go from inside to out. I do not spray outside in. So I don't spray towards the filter like the air would come in. So the next thing I'm gonna do, it is uh, dry now. I'm gonna take the air filter oil. Again, make sure you're in a well-ventilated area. I have my gloves on and I also have my mask back on. I'm gonna spray, I usually spray about six inches away. And as you can see, hopefully it shows up on video again. It starts to turn it back to that red color. So when you're rinsing it, whenever you're rinsing it, you'll know that it's clean whenever it turns that gray color. And whenever you spray this chemical on there, you know that you sprayed it in its entirety because it turns it a red color again. All right, so the filter has been cleaned, pulled, it's ready to go. Now I'm just gonna put it back down in the bike. And it's not hard to put in the bike. I just do not want to mash it on anything. So I kind of overly careful in case it looks kind of silly, like something's going on sits right down in there. I like to have the wording set up on it. Now, as with everything, this is a little dirty, so I like to clean it now that I have a chance to. I'm going to put arrow up. Screws stay in there pretty good, so I'm just going to kind of be careful not to do it too hard. And I'm just going to hand tighten all this back in. That is good enough. I like to shake a little bit, make sure it's set. We're gonna put the cover back on. All right, good to go.